Hello. So, my cards didn't show up from UBS yet. And we can't wait forever, and I was really excited about doing your reading. So I just did it with the cards that I already have that I like a lot anyways. I know they're the basic cards, but they're super, like, eye cards. They're my thing. You got a really good read here. I did the Celtic spread for you. And so, for the core, this card is tough, honestly. Like... You've been existing on the basics, maybe, and that could mean so many different things. I, I kind of think that this card's always about financial stuff, um, poverty, or it could mean health even. Anyways, you're under pressure, and it's sort of been bringing you down. That's the core, but with the obstacle being the Ace of Pentacles, because Pentacles are Earth. They're everything we can see feel, touch, and taste. And this includes people. The first card was the Five of Pentacles, and the obstacle is the Ace of Pentacles here. It, it leads towards material and financial stuff is where I'm going with this. Um, we use this for when we get the Ace of Pentacles for growth and stability. But as an obstacle, it really looks like it's right in front of your face the new beginning or the opportunity for financial stability, it's there. And if you are looking at it as an obstacle for health, um, well, it means the card would mean your health is going to improve and you are making some better lifestyle choices that they will benefit you for years to come. But as an obstacle, it's right in front of your face. So potentially take advantage of that. Get rid of the obstacle. Okay, for desires and aspirations, we have the lovers. One of my favorite cards. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's the Archangel Raphael. And this one is telling you, telling us, to trust your heart, okay? So it, it kind of says you might be looking for, like, towards love or a relationship that's going to change your life. You just really want someone you can work with or trust. And that's your desires and what you aspire to have. So next we always go down to the next spot here for resources and roots. And today when I wrote roots, like that's somehow really important to me. But as resources, okay, the Knight of Swords here. It means you're ready. You're gung-ho. But the timing's off. You're relying on someone who isn't ready, potentially, as a resource. But here comes the roots. And for the roots, it's the Four of Cups. So... Have you been contemplating or trying to make it happen and create the life that you want? But maybe somebody's sort of like holding you back. Um, maybe you're closed off to either getting rid of that person or changing something or, or someone. I keep thinking about the place that you live. Like, is there, would you be better off if you lived somewhere different okay next thing is we're gonna look at the past and you've got the ten of cups this is so good it's a really strong spot to get the ten of cups it shows strong family or hometown or your friends even ties okay you have the happy memories and this is gonna give you faith in the world and hope that everything can work out so it shows positive values were instilled in you. And that means you'll always have a positive outlook. Some people have it the other way around. <clears throat> Sorry about the way my voice sounds, but in Ohio, I have a lot of allergies this time of year. So it's really kind of crappy. And I don't like to take allergy medicine. So I don't like to take any medicine. So I didn't. So I sound kind of nasally and congested. For the future, this is also a very good card. 
in the spot that it's in as a future card. It, it's showing that in the future, your hard work is going to pay off. What you are putting out to the universe is about to come back to you. So this makes me think of career and it just, it's, it's encouragement. Don't give up. Stay determined. Get what your heart desires. It's going to be an even better, happier life. So go for it. The very next spot is for your attitude. This is you. Look, it's the star. I wish I could get that in this spot. It's a really cool spot too. You've been through a lot, <clears throat> but you've made it through it. And you're coming out of it believing in yourself and your dreams and your viewpoints, your visions on life. I'd like to think when it, this card is here, you're a star, dreamy and hopeful, and people are attracted to you. For others in the world, out there, the Eight of Cups shows manipulation. And it's getting really old for you, I think, I sense and feel. Um, but what I really get the, the most sense for here is that the world, it's going to, like, come back around like and change we live in a society in a world that's totally changing all of the time so the people are they're not ever really all that settled when you look at society and everything they blame they see shortcomings but you and i we're living in and through the change like the big change um we you us are way ahead of them. Okay, here we have the Three of Cups. And in this spot, it is hopes versus fears. This card is all about success and achievement, emotionally and subconsciously and consciously, <laughs> sorry, emotionally. So it's subconscious and conscious. It's hope, right? For a richer, fuller, more satisfying life. That would be where your hope was lying. But then the fear comes in and it's, it's kind of like, you may be afraid of the hard work, not paying off if you put it in, but it's gonna work out. And the results are going to be way better than you expected. So don't worry too much. It's a really positive card. So focus on that. Don't stress. These water things, it's about the flux or the flow. The yin versus the yang is what creates the flow. And I feel like your hopes and fears are noticing the good stuff and the bad stuff. And like just coming to terms with an understanding how all of that is necessary for everyone to grow. The last card is also a cup. It's the Knight of Cups. And he's a true romantic, of course. <laughs> this card's about strength, advantage. When people get this card as an outcome, even as um, the way it's progressing, your lover's not going to cheat on you. So, so that's a good thing. <laughs> it's about loyalty until the end. And everyone involved has loving intentions. So I feel like for some reason, don't turn it inward. Right? How do you... you you're waiting for your dreams to come true. You're entering into an even more intuitive stage. And that's a lot of emotions. So it's hard to understand those feelings. But get creative with that. Because for you specifically, I feel like you need to be sharing. Like, that's what I'm getting from you. You're the star. You need to share. 
with the world and others. So it's progressing in that there's new and exciting possibilities. Either they've already begun or they're about to begin and you've got the potential, so use it. You are very powerful. So get out there and succeed. Live the life that you want and deserve. And I mean, I don't know if you're doing that or not, but other people really get a lot out of everything that you do. So share it with them. Have you been feeling a little happier lately? Because that's the sense that I'm getting. Just, you know, in life, little by little. As we get a little older and we don't have to feel older, but we can really enjoy things again in a different way. Okay, so that was my reading. I always stop them so abruptly. Let me know if any of this rings true for you. Because I really enjoyed doing it and I, I think that you're a pretty cool person. So I'm really glad that you let me do a reading for you. And I'm really excited about my new cards. They're not here yet, but lots of love. Namaste.